Welcome to today's Talos tool walkthrough. Today we'll be looking at Dynamic Data Resolver, or DDR. DDR is a dynamic data analysis plugin for IDA Pro. Everything in DDR is accessed via the DDR context menu. The first thing you have to do is run a trace to get data from the runtime analysis of the sample in Dynamo Rio. Depending on the kind of trace, this takes a few seconds. When it's done, you can execute the other DDR features, for example, highlighting the instructions which were executed at runtime. As you can see, the different colors are showing how often certain instructions were executed at runtime. By default, DDR executes 20,000 instructions, so you get a quick overview of which code is touched when the sample is executed. Of course, you can change the number of instructions to a higher value and run the trace again. A full trace and a value above 40,000 is generally too much data, so make sure you only use higher value for light traces. A light trace does not collect all data. It only collects data for code flow related instructions, for example, calls, jumps, and returns. So we have run the light trace again and has executed the whole sample. We can update the graph to see which basic blocks are likely loops, and after running a trace, we can also use the Show API Calls Trace feature. This shows a window with all occurrences where the sample somehow accessed an address of an API call. You can use this window to search for interesting API calls, for example, Virtual Protect. If you double click on a line, IDA jumps directly to the instruction which touched the API call. In this case, it was the call EBP instruction, which you can see in the green basic block. If you are interested in more details of this basic block, you can run a full detailed trace against it. This collects more details than the light trace. Now you can resolve nearly every dynamic value and set the corresponding comments in the disassembler view. For example, we can resolve all the arguments for the virtual protect call. This includes register values and memory that certain variables or registers are pointing to. Of course, you can also mark multiple instructions and resolve them all in one step. If an instruction is executed multiple times, by default, DDR writes the first three as comments into the disassembler view and five into the logging window. You can change these default values in the config menu. Another handy feature of DDR is that it logs all strings at runtime, including decrypted ones. Just open the Show Strings Trace window, and you can search for any string that you like. And again, a double click jumps right to the corresponding instruction. Last but not least, you can resolve registers at any instruction. For example, if you're interested in which value EAX has after a call. That's it. 
Thank you for listening, and we will see you on the next Talos Tool Walkthrough.